Now, 2020 has been the most peculiar year, you could say. Human malware, plague, it's been a disaster all around. One to forget, one to write off. Uh, and NVIDIA have been at the centre of much controversy, and it's not got much better for them. This one, this move that they've just pulled, which has rendered many videos in my back catalogue obsolete, which, ah, it's a strange move, very odd, quite big, this decision that they've made, but kind of meaningless in some respects. Well, I'll talk about that. But before that, this video is brought to you by me. If you're thinking about subscribing to a new Autodesk software license anytime soon, or if you're soon to be renewing an existing Autodesk subscription that you've already got, please do consider using my TFI paid referral link, which is in the description. That'll take you to your local Autodesk store. It won't cost you any more to subscribe using my link, but I'll get a little cut of the commission, which will serve as vital support for the channel. Thank you very much in advance for your consideration. Links in the description. But it's not clickbait. They have indeed retired the name Quadro from their entire product stack. From this point onwards, no graphics cards from NVIDIA will be called Quadro. Which, if you've been in the CAD world for, for a while, that sounds kind of unthinkable. Because Quadro's been around for, like, since Cat was a kitten. It's been there for as long as you can remember. It's been a staple in the industry. It's been ingrained in all of us. Workstations equal Xeons and Quadros. Quadro's gone. The brand is gonna, it's gone. There is no Quadro products available from today on NVIDIA's current architecture. Moving forwards, no products will come with the Quadro designation. So it kind of needs repeating just so that it sinks in. And if you don't hear about this news, if you're not, if you're not aware that this is going down, this is going to be quite confusing for a number of reasons. And I'll, I'll talk about that, but let's get into it. Heading on over to NVIDIA's website. You're still going to see references to Quadro all over the internet for a good few years, probably half a dozen years moving forwards because the likes of Dell, HP, Lenovo, they still let you put old generation Quadros in their workstation configurators if you don't want today's architecture. If you still want to go for, a, I don't know, a Turing or a Pascal Quadro, you can still put those in your Dells and your HPs today. So you're still going to see Quadros. You're still going to be able to download Quadro drivers for a good few years. You're still going to see retailers with all Quadro stock. You're still going to see art news articles all over the place, ISV certifications all over the place for Quadros. The name is not going to go away, which is going to make it a lot confusing for a lot of people because the current products that would have been a Quadro aren't going to be called Quadro, but this previous whole bunch of chatter and noise in the past that was Quadro and that references Quadro has a different name. And that's never good. Uh, and that kind of comes with the territory when you name a product, but when it's something as absolutely massive and as distinguished as the brand Quadro... Uh, it's, it's such a big thing to do for such little gain, in my opinion. So this is NVIDIA's own website, uh, Design and Visualization. This is one of the new, what would have been a Quadro products, which you could argue is a bit ghastly, but it doesn't matter. These go into professional workstations with the lid closed. There's no tempered glass panels on professional workstations. People tend to not ever look inside. They're Dell Precisions or HP Z workstations, so it doesn't matter what they look like, but they're blower style fans, so the air comes in. Uh, gets vented through over the components inside the graphics card, then it's exhausted out through the front of the card and then into the well, outside world. And yeah, that's what they look like. That's the new Ampere generation of professional workstation cards. But this is where the confusion is going to kind of come in because this product here, this is the new what would have been a Quadro card minus the Quadro name. So as of today, if you buy today's professional workstation card, you are just buying an NVIDIA RTX A6000 or a 5000 or an A4000. No Quadro name at all. These here are the previous generation Quadros that a lot of people have. Quadro RTX 6000, Quadro RTX 5000, Quadro RTX 4000. And for a good while, you're going to be able to buy both today's generation and the previous generation in parallel. So on NVIDIA's website, they're going to have the NVIDIA RTX A4000, I would imagine anyway, and the RTX Quadro 4000 on the same website. And some retailers are going to have them as well on the same website. And if you didn't know about this, 
and you're looking at the professional workstation cards and you're like, which one do I buy? I don't understand Pascal and Turing and Ampere and Maxwell and Fermi and Kepler and all that. I don't understand nanometer manufacturing processes and generations. And I just want to buy a, I just want to buy a graphics card. What's, I know what Quadro means, but why does one have Quadro and one doesn't? You would, it, it's not unreasonable to argue that that guy, oh girl, might just play it safe, take the super cautious route and buy the old Quadro because it's something they recognize. That will happen. I guarantee it. Because some people just, oh, no, it won't. It's, everyone will just Google it. How hard is it to Google it? You'd be, you'd be very surprised. Lots of people don't Google stuff. They're just not. It's, they're, they're not wired to do that. They'll just go with their gut. If it, if it looks familiar, they'll just do it. If, if, they, if that's what their gut tells them to do, because that's the safe option, they'll just do it. So yeah, for a while, you're going to have the same kind of product, but what like one generation newer than the other, but with a different name. That's going to cause confusion. So why are they doing this, though? That's kind of the question here. Why remove a name which is so ingrained and so distinguished? Well, uh, this is where things get a bit weirder. So the news broke early last week and various journalist sites and publications have asked for statements from NVIDIA and apparently, allegedly, NVIDIA have done this because they found their naming or their brands to be... I don't know whether they thought that it was confusing, but they said they wanted to streamline their product stack. Earlier last year, they got rid of Tesla, which is their data center cloud platform. And sure, not many people really knew what the Tesla brand was. You know, you've got Elon Musk coming out with the Tesla cars and, you know, te Nikola Tesla's the, the electric guy and then NVIDIA have got these Tesla graphics cards. And yeah, sure, I get that. But to then get rid of the Quadro brand and then call both what would have been a Tesla and a Quadro as the same name, that's not clearing anything up and that's not streamlining anything in my opinion. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. So this is a customer testimonial on or like one of these blog sites on NVIDIA's website. And this is the what would have been a Quadro and what would have been a Tesla in the same sentence. This is what I mean. So the new NVIDIA RTX A6000 and NVIDIA A40 GPU is accelerate rendering AI, VR, AR, blah, 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 blah. So this here is what would have been the Quadro. This here is what would have been the Tesla. So if you're that guy again who doesn't understand GPUs and you're looking at both of these cards, you it's not unreasonable to think, ah, I don't need an X, ah, I'm just buying the GPU for AutoCAD. Ah, just L I'm just buying an, an AutoCAD LT graphics card. I just want the cheapest one. The A40 looks a lot cheaper than the A6000. Where do I buy the NVIDIA A40 from? That's not an unreasonable train of thought to go down. So... If that person does then Google A6000 and A40, there's a good chance they'll end up on a map of the British road system because that's exactly what A40 and A6000 are, the British roads. <laughs> Probably end up looking at middle of Birmingham or wherever the A40 is in the UK. So yeah, that's like that's the old Quadro, that's the old Tesla, and put them together. They just mean nothing now. But you've still got the GeForce designation, but now you don't have the Quadro or the Tesla designation. Now you've just got NVIDIA RTX. But then to that guy that doesn't understand GPUs, RTX means nothing. He doesn't, okay, the NVIDIA A40 doesn't have RTX in. That doesn't mean anything to anyone. He doesn't know that. Oh, it's just like, what, 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 are you doing? what are you doing? The Quadro brand was just so distinguished. Everyone knew what it was. You know, you had the Quadro drivers, you had the Quadro ISV certifications. Now what do we call them? When you're referring to a product family, which G4 should I get? Which, which A should I get? <laughs> Oh, what a, what a, I don't know. But looking at the actual GPUs themselves, I, I don't really want to wrap this up without kind of shedding some light on how good they are. You know, name, daft names aside, these are ridiculously powerful graphics cards. And this, by the way, this is the top of the stack, A6000. I think there may be an A8000 coming out. The, the usually is 48 gigs of video RAM on a single GPU, GDDR6 video RAM when you can NV link them together to give 96 gigs of video RAM in a single workstation. That is mental bonkers, mate. Absolute mental bonkers. Second generation RT cores, doesn't mean much to most people, two times the throughput, sure. It, that needs real world benchmarks to, to actually sort of validate what that actually means. You know, everything's next generation, one level up. PCI Express Gen 4, if you've got an AMD system, then you can 
use PCI Express Gen 4. Otherwise, on Intel, you're still in PCI Express Gen 3, which so far tests have shown doesn't really mean much. But at this level, who knows? I don't. I don't think many people do at this point. So uh, power efficiency, they're going to be thirsty boys. 300 watts for the A6000, I think, is the power draw. Or the peak power draw. Uh, it's not actually listed. Oh, here it is. 300 watts. Yeah, max power consumption, 300 watts. So that's the A6000. I don't, don't think we've got specs yet on the lower stack of the new Ampere Quadros, but see, I'm calling them Quadros. It's going to take a long time. It really is. It's going to take a long time to stop de facto calling them Quadros because it's so ingrained. I just don't understand why they've done it. But they've done it. It's happened. The name Quadro is gone. And um, I just thought I'd make this video just so you know, because, yeah, moving forward, that laptop that you're looking at, when it doesn't have the word Quadro in the GPU, and you're thinking, why is that? Should I be buying this? Is this the right one? Is this CAD spec? You're going to have to look it up. A lot of people are going to have to do a lot of looking up or uh, take a leap of faith if they're not familiar with this brand change, which, yeah, okay. So that's the news. Thanks again for watching. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the doobly-doos down below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Doodles. Doodles.